In this problem, we're told, what is the ideal speed to take a 100 meter radius curve banked at a 20 degree angle? So in this problem, what we're trying to do is find ideal speed or velocity. And in order to solve for the velocity, there's a formula you need to know which relates these variables, which basically is velocity is equal to the square root of radius times gravity times the tangent of theta. So what this equation is going to allow us to do is if we have a banking angle, in this case it's 20 degrees, and we have a radius, what we can do is find uh, the ideal speed uh, to go around it essentially, or our ideal velocity. And so what we want to do is just plug in uh, the, the stuff they give us. So all we got to really do is just plug it in. There's nothing really that complex about this problem. So the radius is just going to be 100 meters. So plugging in 100. G is just going to be the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 or 9.81. I'm just going to use 9.8. So 9.8. And then you just want to take the tangent of the angle, or the banking angle. In this case, it's going to be 20 degrees. So we take the tangent of 20. And so what you want to do is just plug this in. So uh, second square, or square root 100 times 9.8 times the tangent of 20. And make sure when you do this, you're in degrees because they give us the angle in degrees. So when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get the velocity is equal to 18.886. And so this is going to be in meters per second because it's velocity. And then you can round however you'd like. So you can just round to 19. Uh, if you'd like, just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to. But it's going to be either one of these. So it's going to be about 19 meters per second or just 18.886. But yeah, so this is going to be uh, the ideal speed. So this is your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.